If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. You are telling a mother who is trying to decide myself whether to get my kids vaccinated when the time comes. And I'm reading this. 51% of parents, only 51% are absolutely certain. I'll be honest. I'm in that 50% that isn't absolutely certain. So how do you convince me? How do you convince the other parents out there that we need to do this? Campbell, I'm going to get it. Yes. If that helps at all. But I'll tell you, my wife is not going to immunize our kids. Because I've got four of them, and when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz, I'm Mr. Oz. <laughs> Look, you are telling a mother who is trying to decide myself whether to get my kids vaccinated when the time comes. And I'm reading this, 51% of parents, only 51% are absolutely certain. I'll be honest, I'm in that 50% that isn't absolutely certain. So how do you convince me? How do you convince the other parents out there that we need to do this? Campbell, I'm going to get it, yes. if that helps at all. But I'll tell you, my wife is not going to immunize our kids. Because I've got four of them, and when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz, I'm Mr. Oz. 10% <laughs> of folks get the flu every year. You're rolling the dice, my friend. I love gambling, dude. It's not just about you, it's about herd immunity. You ever hear that? Herd immunity? Uh, not the 70s anymore. This vaccine's a lot safer. Look, I know the vaccine's safer, and I am informed, but I'm just lazy, okay? I'll get to it. You should get it right now. I said I'll get to it. You know, a lot of people don't get the flu vaccine until their friends get sick, and it's too late. Hit me, hit me. Look, Trump. you are telling a mother who is trying to decide myself whether to get my kids vaccinated when the time comes. And I'm reading this. 51% of parents, only 51% are absolutely certain. I'll be honest. I'm in that 50% that isn't absolutely certain. So how do you convince me? How do you convince the other parents out there that we need to do this? Campbell, I'm going to get it. Yes. If that helps at all. But I'll tell you, my wife is not going to immunize our kids. Because I've got four of them. And when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz. I'm Mr. Oz. <laughs> this is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I think it's important for people who have channels to not hesitate to talk about things that might have occurred in the past. And that's why I'm doing this video, because I've been talking a lot about vaccinations in the flu shot recently, especially with all the fake news that keeps coming out about, oh, so many people are dying from the flu. Everybody better get their flu shot. And, you know, Kids who were so upset at their parents because they never got vaccinated, so they're fighting against their parents, and they're they're saying, my parents were just so evil because they never gave me the flu shot when I was a kid. This is all part of the mind control. But it's important to talk about things that happened in the past because you have to always remember as a content creator, there are people waking up every single day. And I do the same thing. I fall into the same category. I'm not accusing anyone of not doing this type of thing, but... I sat there and I thought about this for a little bit about, you know, I've covered Bill Gates and talking about vaccinations and how he's so pro-vaccination. And Pretty much all you hear from Bill Gates nowadays is talking about vaccination and talking about depopulation. And this is not new news, but it is important to kind of talk about these things because you have to see what hypocrites these people are. And you have to see, uh, even if you, you know, you have to remember that people wake up every single day. If you've been awake for 15 years, 500 years, well, 50 years, 20 years, five years, five days, five minutes, it's all relevant. And even people who have been awake for 50 years might not have heard this because there's so much stuff and there's so many things that people wake up to that doesn't mean that they know everything about every subject because none of us do. Right. We're all, you know, we, we all kind of focus on the different things that we try to talk about and, and expose and wake people up to things that we're passionate about. You know, I try to focus in on things that I'm passionate about. I'm not going to do videos on things that I don't care about just to do, them. you know, because I'm not going to be passionate in the videos. I'm not going to know what I'm talking about in the videos. That's why I don't talk about certain subjects that people ask me to talk about. But this specific topic, you know, vaccinations along with, you know, chemtrails and the poison in the foods and the chemicals in the food is extremely important because this is something that affects every single individual, whether you believe, you know, in this stuff or not, whether you believe in God or not, it's really important. So I've covered how, you know, Dr. Oz and the video I did on how important uh, the video was, I, I believe I titled it on, you know, understanding the flu shot and why it's so mainstream and why you see Good Morning America, you know, they're taking the flu shot. Anderson Cooper taking the flu shot. 
Ellen DeGeneres, the flu shot, right? All these shows, you know, using the repetition and then telling you to get the flu shot. The Dr. Oz and, uh, you know, Bill Gates thing is, is it's almost hysterical, right? Dr. Oz telling everyone why it's important to do the flu shot and how you're pretty much evil if you don't. Get it right now. I said I'll get to it. You know, a lot of people don't get the flu vaccine until their friends get sick and it's too late. Hit me, hit me. I don't even feel this. Oh, feels good. All right, you're right, Mehmet. I'm convinced. I should get the flu shot now. And scene. Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Jeong. What you've seen is a dramatization where I very capably played a man who's resistant to getting a flu shot, but you should get yours. Look, Trump. you are telling a mother who is trying to decide myself whether to get my kids vaccinated when the time comes. And I'm reading this, 51% of parents, only 51% are absolutely certain. I'll be honest, I'm in that 50% that isn't absolutely certain. So how do you convince me? How do you convince the other parents out there that we need to do this? Campbell, I'm going to get it, Yes. if that helps at all. But I'll tell you, my wife is not going to immunize our kids. Because I've got four of them, and when I go home, I'm not Dr. Oz, I'm Mr. Oz. <laughs> and then you could hear out of his own mouth, his own mouth, how he's Dr. Oz, but then he's a family man when he goes home, and how he believes in vaccination, that everyone should be vaccinated, but his own kids, his own wife, his own family, no way. So what does that say? about getting a vaccination. If you're someone out there who's pro-vaccination, and believe it or not, people who follow my channel, there's people who are pro-vaccination. I have people who have commented who have said, I've followed your channel for years, and this is so stupid. Don't you recall you know, the flu outbreak and all this stuff and how many people died in the 1920s and the 1940s? And they go on and on. They leave me paragraphs of messages saying that, oh, well, you're right about the symbols and the occult and Satanism and all this stuff, but you're so wrong about vaccinations. They're so important. Then why do people like this, like Dr. Oz, who comes through the Oprah programming, who is, I mean, clearly a bagel lover, who sits there and he tells everyone that if you don't vaccinate, it's evil. If you don't vaccinate, you're not doing, you know, you're not, uh, you're not a good person in society because you could make someone else sick. But then he refuses to vaccinate his own kids. What does that say? Isn't that enough of a wake up call? That's why this video is important to share with your friends, share with people, you know, and then say, why in the world would this guy be on national television telling people that they need to vaccinate their kids and saying, you know, I'm a doctor and I'm on television, so I'm like your personal doctor because that's what Dr. Oz is supposed to be. He's on TV, right? So people see that and they're like, oh, well, he must be really, really good. And oh, he's with Oprah. And oh, he's on Fox. And oh, he's, he's all over the place. So all we do is see him on magazine covers. He knows how to lose weight, how to get healthy. And he's telling everyone, you must vaccinate. But he doesn't vaccinate his own family. Give me a break. And no, this isn't new news. I'm aware. But I don't have a video out on this, and it needs to be out there. doesn't really matter if it's 5 years old, 10 years old, 50 years old. It's showing the hypocrisy of the world that we live in, right? Just like Bill Gates. Bill Gates, who now, you know, he isn't even known anymore for Microsoft or anything like that. He's known for vaccination because that's all he goes around talking about, Right? And Bill Gates won't let doctors vaccinate his own children. His former private family doctor, and this is on record, says that the Microsoft founder and vaccine proponent refuses to vaccinate, proponent, excuse me, refuses to vaccinate his own children. He said, I don't know if he had them vaccinated when they grew up, but I know he point blank chose not to vaccinate them as children. The physician stated at a behind closed doors medical seminar in Seattle, saying they were beautiful kids, truly wise and lively, and he stated they would be fine as they were. They didn't need any shots. Right? And this is the same guy who said in the you know, I showed you the quotes that this guy has said. Sanjay Gupta, MD, CNN Saturday and Sunday morning, seven thirty Eastern. Uh, $10 billion over the next 10 years uh, to make it the year of the vaccines. W what does that mean exactly? Well, over this decade, uh, we believe unbelievable progress can be made, both inventing new vaccines and making sure they get out to all the children who need them. Uh, we could cut the number of children who die every year from about 9 million to half of that uh, if we have success on it. And the, the benefits there in terms of reducing sickness, reducing the population growth. 
He flat out calls people who don't vaccinate their children, pretty much says that you're a terrorist. And you're, you know, you're, you're problematic to society if you don't do this. But, oh, but the elites don't have to vaccinate their kids. We just have to vaccinate ours. Why? So our kids get autism. So our kids get sick. So our kids die. So that our kids get anxiety and all these other things. What an absolute joke. So share this with people you know, because they need to see it. They need to realize that these people are nothing but lying hypocrites. If somebody is out there telling you to do something, right, and say, do it, do it, do it, do it, and then you find out, and they open, how about not even find out secretly that they're lying? How about find out, well, Bill Gates, I guess, secretly, because he never said that, you know, openly, his doctor did. But how about Dr. Oz openly saying it in an interview, showing you how dumb that these people think Americans are, how dumb they think the citizens of the world are, or citizens of our country are, saying, well, I'm going to do an interview talking about vaccination and how everyone needs to get a flu shot. And in the middle of it, I'm going to tell everyone, but I don't vaccinate my own kids. That's them saying, you are so dumb that I'm going to say it right in front of you, and you're not going to realize it. And that's what they do. And Dr. Oz is still on the air. Nobody's called him out. No one said he's a hypocrite. What a joke. Don't vaccinate. The proof is in the pudding. These people won't even vaccinate their own kids. I wonder why. We need to do it, though, so our kids get sick and our kids die. What a joke. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.